What is up, everybody? It is I, Ronan, and uh, today, uh, actually going to be trying a slightly different format of video. Uh, as you can see, I have a bit of an ancient gear list here pulled up on the new YGO Pro thing. Uh, check that out when you have the chance, it's pretty good. Uh, but no, I wanted to try something a little different today, and just try to explain some sort of deck building, uh, play, combo sort of things, and I kinda just wanted to try that. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens with it. I like the idea, but I wanna know what you all think, so yeah, just let me know how this video goes, and your own opinions, and how I can improve it in the future, or if you even wanna see more of this stuff. But, uh, alright, all that being said, let's get into it. So today we are talking about ratios, uh, and if you wanna know what I mean by that, it's basically how many of a certain card do I run? And I think I have decided to do it pretty well with uh, Ancient Gears, ex sort of having them in order of three ofs, two ofs, and then there's one ofs, but we'll get into that with sort of like the extra deck and such. Uh, yeah, so uh, just a quick explanation of three ofs. So let's start there. Uh, so if you run something at free, that says you either need it at free for some purpose, or it's a card that you would never mind if it just ended up in your hand. Uh, that's usually reserved for major combo pieces, hand traps, uh, ways to get your plays through, protection-y type effects, so on and so forth. And so for Ancient Gears, uh, your main combo is either getting to Ancient Gear Ballista, or getting Ancient Gear Catapult with Gear Town. So, uh, because Urgent Schedule lets you summon two Earth Monsters from your deck to make with uh, your Ballista with, you run that at free, because that will get you to your plays. You also run Catapult and Gear Town at free, as that will get you to your plays. So, you r these are the cards that you always want to start the game with, essentially. Uh, so, however... Other free ofs, um, again, more major combo pieces as well as ways to get to those. Uh, free ofs are another thing like searchers. Uh, example, Ancient Gear Wyvern here, whenever it's normal or special summon, lets you just add an Ancient Gear card from your deck to your hand except for itself. Uh, so you run that at free because it gets you to your other pieces, uh, which are pretty, <coughs> usually pretty important for you to get to because you know you want your plays to go through. But uh, running this at free essentially says, okay, I have any other card I need. So you always run that at free as well in order to help get to your pieces, and that sort of lets you justify running things at one or two. Uh, beyond that, though, you have the things that are just generally good to have at free, like uh, your Ancient Gear Hunting Hound. It opens up another line of play for you if you can't get to your primary combo. Hand traps, like infinite and permanence, because you, why would you not want to hand trap at some point? And ways to get your plays through, such as Lightning Storm to clear off back row or monsters, and Call by the Grave to complete your searches with, say, Ancient Gear Catapult, or your Wyvern, or any stop any negate effects for, say, your Hunting Hound. Uh, so that's... Generally, things you want to run it free. Those are the, it gets my plays through, it gets my plays started type cards. Uh, other things you run it free, like uh, your Ancient Gear Golem and Ancient Gear U Golem Ultimate Pound. Uh, you run them at free not because you want to see them in their hand, but because having more of them offers some great effect. And now let's talk about Ancient Gear Megaton Golem. So... Ancient Gear Megaton Golem is a big boy that uh, is able to attack once for each Ancient Gear Golem used in its Fusion Summon. Uh, the spell Ancient Gear Fusion, so long as you use a Golem on the field, gives you the ability to use Golems and Ultimate Pounds from your deck as Fusion Material. So, while it's a brick to open any of these in your hands, uh, you want to use it for the greater effect of getting a Megaton Golem onto the field and having it have just oodles and foodles of attacks. <coughs> so, <coughs> then there's Megaton Golem, which floats into... <coughs> to, sorry, I'm clearing my throat so much. My throat's been rather, rather sore lately. And to 
but yeah, so basically Megaton then floats into Ultimate, and Ultimate floats into Ancient Gear, so it's one of those things where it's a uh, good thing to also be able to get that into the graveyard. Uh, I will be going over the combo line later, but right now I'm just trying to explain it. So, these free ofs you run because they make your plays more powerful. It's one of those things, though, where you could run that less if you want more consistency. It's just a matter of do you choose more power or more consistency? Uh, I personally prefer to have more power, so I do this, but uh, yeah. Uh, our next free of is the things we use to unbrick ourselves. Uh, Wyvern falls into this category as a searcher, uh, as does kind of Catapult and Gear Town, but uh, trade in. So we run a lot of level 8s in this deck, and if we open them, that's generally a bad thing. Uh, however, if you have things like trade-in or other ways to get rid of those bricks, then you are able to just gain advantage from it. And because we run a decent amount of brick in this deck, it's fine to have this at free, possibly two, to help get rid of those bricks. Now we jump into two ofs. Uh, so a two of is generally something that you want to see it sometimes, and you also want to be able to search it, but it's hardly something you would desire to open. Uh, so as far as our two ofs go, we have <coughs> Ancient Gear Fusion as well as Overload Fusion. Uh, Overload Fusion is a recovery card, which by their own nature aren't as good, because on the first few turns, they're generally not really going to do anything. Uh, Ancient Gear Fusion, we already went over the effect, but it is generally what you would like to search off of Wyvern after popping your, catap your gear town with a catapult. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, wow. Getting sick, I guess. Uh, yes, so I know it's a cheap as I should say for two ofs you want to open them so you want to have them some of the time but that is unfortunately extremely true because you really only do want these some of the time uh, you want to be able to search them you don't quite want to be able to always have them in your hand though because if they don't have the proper resources then they're very much dead cards uh, and then we have Terraforming, doubles get to Gear Town. Again, uh, any searcher for a major combo piece is worth running in your deck. Uh, and then we have two copies of Ancient Gear Fortress. It's a. Uh, you could certainly make the argument to run this at free or two, because on the one hand, it is searchable and you're not going to need it all the time. But the other hand, it is an alternate target for Catapult, as well as protection for your Ancient Gear cards. So. It's, uh, you could definitely run it at free, or you could run it at two. I choose to run it at two, though. Now, for, that's sort of the ratios of the main deck. Uh, we don't really have any one-ofs in this deck, but just for example, let's look at Gem Knight Garnet. Uh, wait, Garnet, there we go. Uh, so, one of is generally referred to as Garnets, because, uh, Brilliant Fusion, uh, the card used to summon your, um, I believe it's Seraphronite, uh, the one that, the Gym Knight that lets you normal summon twice, you would always send one of, and a one of in your deck is purely relegated to the space of, I don't want it in my hand, I just want to search it or special summon it from the deck, much like you would do with Garnet, because if you drew Garnet, your Brilliant Fusion was dead, and generally this can lead to harder bricks, but if you don't get it, it leads to incredible plays. So that's kind of the logic there. Uh, this can also apply to anything searchable, like say, an extremely situational card that you maybe want to run anyways, uh, if it's searchable, then you are able to have it at one, and it's just kind of a have it if you need it type situation at that point. However, with those sort of explanations out of the way, let's talk about the extra deck and ratioing it. Uh, it all the extra deck is a weird thing to look at because it all depends on what you're going to be summoning most often. Uh, so, example. Uh, Chaos Ancient Gear Giant, a very, very powerful card, uh, very summonable, and usually, if you summon it, that's that's just the game. Uh, however, 
the reality of the situation is you do not run it at two because more than likely you're only ever going to summon it once. So you really run cards in the extra deck in relation to how often you think you are going to be summoning it. Uh, so example, uh, well, I should say, there. well, the Chaos Ancient Gear Giant, but more often than not, we're going to be summoning Howitzer as well as Megaton Golem. Uh, and because of Megaton's Golem's effect, you, we can run an equal amount of Ultimate Ancient Gear Golems as Megaton Golems. Uh, so because of we are summoning these most often, we run more copies of them. Uh, whereas with, say, Ver Anaconda, which we use with Overload Fusion, uh, we're probably not going to be summoning that quite as much outside of going for the Overload Search. Uh, so yeah, the extra deck, a lot more simple than the main deck. It's just a matter of what do you think you're going to summon most often. But now let's talk about the side deck. Uh, the side deck is where free and free elves basically live. Uh, it's anything you think you might need to help you in particular matchups. Like uh, if there, it's a super heavy monster effect matchup, we have Gamma Sail. If opponent's doing a lot of searching, we have Ash Blossom, uh, and extra negates, extra spell trap removal, extra negates, and even more negates. Uh, yeah. So just kind of in summary, you. Free ofs, you always want to open. Uh, they help you get your plays through, or for some reason they provide a power by ha having more of them there. You run it free. Two ofs are the things you want to possibly have in hand, but also mostly just want to search. One ofs are the things you never want to draw. You always want to search them or send them from the deck to the graveyard. Something like that. Uh, extra deck. It really just depends on how much you're summoning something and how badly you want to summon something. Inside deck is just the free ofs that will help you in specific matchups that you are weak to, but that is all based on your own determination, I do believe. But uh, yeah, so that's a shorter video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm definitely tempted to want to try to do more of these, just sort of like explaining why decks are built the way they are type videos. Uh, this one was pretty off the cuff. Uh, let me know if that's a bad thing or if it's a good thing. But, uh, yeah, all that being said, like if you liked, comment if you had something to say, and subscribe if you want some more. This has been Ronan, signing off.